I don't know what to say, dude. I really don't. You see, on one hand, I thought there were better odds of Harambe rising from the dead, then running for president in this year's election, and finally winning that, than this dude Kwai ever getting a buff. So of course, I'm a little excited, but then on the flip side of the coin, when I started using these buffs in the training mode and then a little bit online, it kind of made me want to go get in a vehicle and then attempt to kiss a tree at 70 miles an hour. You see, Hanzo in MK11 was simple. Hanzo ripped the band-aid off right away when the teleport immediately went from a mid to a high attack instead. So when you read the notes, Scorpion has a mid-mid string now, which sounds amazing on paper, and then also his jump 112 string now has some extra air time to it. It has a different hip property, so you can kinda combo more? I mean, yeah, changing that jump attack string is like putting duct tape on a bursted dam because Scorpion just has so many useless strings. What are we doing with this forward four? It's useless. What is this really even for? I'll stop there because those two are blatant, whereas something like this you just can't use at the high level anymore unless you throw your cameo pick, but that's not technically useless. I mean, just avoid hitting the scroll wheel though on the patch notes if you're a scorpion main, because once you get here, it's like a jump scare as to how screwed scorpion mains were. But a buff is a buff. I can't complain that much. If we go to the move list, you see forward three, forward three, two, and now forward three. 3, 4. It is negative 6 on block and flawless block, so there's no way to make it punishable on its own. Now something interesting about this move is you would think it would be replicated after Scorpion's 4, 3, 4 and MK11, the crushing blow string he has, but it actually looks more like the MK11 back 1 string, more specifically the final two hits of it, which is interesting to me because Rain's new move is a carbon copy of his MK11 low. If we were going to pull inspiration from MK11, I would have much preferred a buff to Scorpion's stand 2 string, copied Scorpion's 2-1 string in MK11. In MK11, all three hits of the 2-1-2 were plus on block, and in this game, I think the final hit being plus could have worked. The second hit being plus? Nah, that would be cheap because it's a mid in this game, unlike a high in MK11. But the final hit right here, that has a gap in. That can be armored out of, the opponent doesn't even have to take the plus frames, or it can be flawless blocked. Back on topic of the mid though, it is mid mid, so no longer can the opponent duck the second hit and full combo punish you. And you could really see that benefit because a main counter to Scorpion is neutral ducking, just like Reptile is doing. 4-3 stubby, so in the past, you could just always sit back and hold duck because the 4-3 was bound to whiff. And because 4-3 was the only mid, stand 2, that is whiffing. This kind of cheeky move that I've been doing because it's actually Scorpion's longest range move, where you do the 1-2, that actually catches people at range. It's much farther than using the stand 2. Ducking that still covered it. Then, because the opponent was already crouching, it became very easy to just hit block when Scorpion used a low of any kind. So whether it was ground flames like this or the back three, the opponent is just sitting right here, just has to tap the block button. Now you can feel more comfortable throwing out your 4-3 because it's not just going to get ducked even though it's so stubby. You could throw out the 4-3 and just expect the second hit to land and then cancel into a special or a cameo. Notice I said a special. Hey, but there's still some more things going for it. The hit advantage on this new mid mid is plus 47 with only 26 frames of recovery. Look how long this knockdown is. He sits there for much longer than you think. Let's compare that to 333, which is often used to do something like this, where you amplify the ground flames afterwards. That is only plus 24 on hits, so the new mid string has two times more knockdown frames than that. Okay, but you see a lot of the pros use the back two into this. Back two used to be Scorpion's longest hit advantage knockdown move with 39 with 30 recovery frames, meaning by itself, the mid mid has eight more hit advantage frames and then also takes less time to recover. Now this isn't groundbreaking by any means, in the corner you were still going to run into the exact same issues against every single character, but beforehand you had a give and take based on what you used. If you decided to try and do that with Scorpion Stand 333 against Reptile into the ground flames, it gives you the most damage but you are guaranteed to be punished by that. So you get about 19%, but you end up getting hit by an armored attack. The back two, you don't get punished, but you get less damage. This turns out to be around 15% total damage. The mid mid allows this to be safe, 
and does similar damage to the 333. As you can see, about 19%. So it just gives Scorpion way more safe guaranteed damage in the mid screen. In the corner, obviously that roll is going to hit you in time, but in the mid screen, it is perfect. You can now do this as your optimal instead of doing this if you want safe guaranteed damage. Now moving to a couple negatives of the move, it does have a gap so it can be armored out of and the opponent could flawless block it, meaning when somebody like Mavado comes out, it's going to be push blocked off of for a punish that pushes you full screen. So I actually saw that people were upset that this mid string also has a gap in it, but if other things weren't the way they were, I would actually have designed the move the exact same way Netherrealm did. I think if we take into account only the things I've talked about so far, it would be pretty fair because it actually fits a place that I didn't think the stand to one string actually did. A lot of you probably didn't realize this, but the way you're supposed to use Scorpion's amplified teleport cancel is to actually dodge opponent's armors or dodge reversals in general. Like if I just go through a bunch of reptiles moves, it's going to dodge it because you switch the sides. The issue was there was no real payout after the stand to one. It was just the final hit right here. So the opponent could use the armor if they wanted to escape the corner or something, but also could just hold block and it made sense too. The opponent just wasn't super incentivized to spend the bar there. And if it's somebody like Liu Kang, Scorpion gets a full combo punish if the opponent goes for the armor and they were never incentivized to do so. With the mid mid though, the fact that you could still special cancel after the second hit, meaning the hit that would come after the opponent armors or after they decided to hold block, it incentivizes the opponent to use armor because they don't want to be caught in something like this where I get out for free because I used a special move after that second hit, when in reality, they could have armored after the first hit and stopped all of that. I mean, they're also putting themselves into a mix-up situation afterwards, because you could still special cancel. So you are super incentivized to spend that meter after this first hit to get out of it, making this right here actually a viable strat. I can now bait armor out of people and also punish people with short range armors. Yeah, a lot of characters like Omni-Man, Peacemaker, Reptile are all going to get away from me, but characters like Ermek and Liu Kang, those two are getting full combo punished. I have a new mind game. Okay, you knew the severe bad news was coming. Spear does not connect with this mid mid, and it's not just Spear. Amplified Spear doesn't as well, meaning the only special move that connects is this one right here. And aside from a couple things I'll say later on in the video, it pretty much is all downhill from here. Chameleon is Scorpion's meta cameo. Katana fan does not combo off of it. If you use the dash, which is the only special move Scorpion has that connects with it, there is no way to continue that combo if Katana is your cameo of choice. If you happen to have Jade when you land it, this isn't gonna work. It could apply some pressure when the opponent wakes up, but that's about it. And then obviously you can't do anything when you're doing this because all you get is glow as your ambush. There is an upside though. Melina is a way that you can viably do it. You don't get the ball roll. Melina's ball roll does not land if you make the hit, which is a problem because it means you can't just dial it in for the mix up. With the two one string, you can dial it in on hit or on block and it works. If it's on hit, it's just a normal combo. If it's on block, it's a mix up between that and the ground flames if the opponent's not paying attention. Yeah, there is no mix up at the end if it's on hit. You have to make sure you're confirming. But on the bright side, Melina is actually the only variation of Chameleon that gets combos with this move. If we just call the size at the end, we get a combo. It's kind of funny, you know, you wish <laughs> this happened when the Jade Glow glitch was still a thing, but I believe it got patched out today. And it's nice that it works anywhere on screen right here, but that's about it. That's the way you have to be ready to extend this move with Scorpion if you're going to be using Chameleon, which is kind of tough. Like obviously as a whole, it's a buff because we didn't have that before. It's not like we gain any downsides by having the move. It just hurts because I feel like Netherrealm could have designed it in a way that would have made Scorpion mains happen. All they had to do was either make Spear connect afterwards and they could have even done it that it was Amplified Spear. And I think people would have been happy or not both, or you just made make Chameleon synchronize with it very well. So there's more than just one comboable phase that she has because the other two, you're really using the move and you're kind of out of luck. Does this not connect in the corner? No, it doesn't. It doesn't even connect the spin in the corner, what? Now let's talk about the jump attack string. Here is the issue I have with it. It doesn't 
really fill much of any void. It doesn't give you more damage. It's just kind of a style factor if you want to go for it, but I think it's risky to go for it. If you do the two, four, three, twos and launch, right? That drops. If I go for the far one, that drops. All right, what if we try and use both new moves at the same time? That didn't work. Let's try doing two in the corner. That dropped. It's really this weird case by case basis. Otherwise you're taking less damage and the real true way I found to do it is just do one, four, three, two. But I don't think this helps your damage at all. Like it's just a style factor. Now, when I go into what cameos are good with these new buffs, I will show you some combos that maybe use it. But as a whole, it's just kind of a risk. If your muscle memory is down for this right here, this is more damage in pretty much every single combo you can do. Look at this. Compared to what we just saw, that right there, 40%. If I do this one, it's like I'm not gonna get 40. There are special cases, but I'm losing three and a half percent. I don't know. I felt like it should do more damage. I think it's scaled incorrectly. I bet you the scaling will get changed on that to make it worthwhile. Like anything I try where I'm like, oh, maybe getting one less four, three, two deeper in the combo would help, but everything drops. So yeah, this move right here, that air one, that is the new move. It used to send the opponent flying backwards to the bottom of the screen. Now the opponent just stays in your face. I think it's meant to do something more on the lines with the enhanced teleport. The issue is, a long time ago, around one month into the game, the big patch that did a lot of scaling really hurt Scorpion's teleport in the air damage. It's why you don't see hardly anybody doing it anymore. And it also just might be one of those moves that again just isn't built for Scorpion's meta cameo, but something like that, that drops so quickly. I also can't believe even cornered Amplified Spear just doesn't work with this new mid. It's kind of crazy. So it was definitely a lackluster buff compared to all the other cast members. Something needed to be better and I'm sure it'll get some tuning down the line. Amplified Spear is gotta happen soon. I think in the corner, it's just best to use it when you know your opponent doesn't have meter for just some good damage. Like this, into this. Look, that was 464 and it's still doing some damage. So it's almost 50% for two bars of meter. And yeah, you have to start by using the dangerous version of the mid, but just ending it like this when the opponent can't wake up armor you because again in the corner that armor is going to hit you and punish you it's a really nice setup goro is a cameo that is going to excel with this new mid so you might be seeing a lot more scorpion goros than you have in the past not only can you get the plus frames if it's a block string where you call goro in after you know the four three four is blocked you also get combos off of it which is really nice it's like thank you something 36% and that's good. He could do it anywhere on screen. As I was saying, if it's blocked, you're getting plus frames because of Goro. And overall, if all you care about is combos and using your plus frame pressure, I think Goro will be the choice for you. I don't know if it can trump how good Chameleon is for Scorpion, but it's definitely gonna take the most advantage of this new mid. Scorpion cameo, same thing, except I think it is a little harder to time. You have to really know this 4-3 is gonna hit and call it early. So I don't think it's as good as Goro, but it functionally serves the same purpose. You can get full combos anywhere on screen. Same thing in the corner, Scorpion gets the combos, so that's just a nice feature. And finally, if it's on block, you could also go for this overhead right here for a little mix-up mind game. It's an okay cameo choice. Still, I don't think as good as Chameleon though, but he can combo off of it without, you know, having to figure out a way to do it off the armored attack. Now, I think Jax will be a big sleeper pick as well. So if you can get the timing right, you're actually getting pretty good damage. You get the ground pound setup. That's already 41 into an unblockable setup. Or you could go for something like this. Again, 41. It gets pretty wild if you just land the hit with the normal 4-3. Like that's 43%. There's a lot of things you could do with Jax. I think he'll be a sleeper pick as well, alongside having 1100 health rather than 1000. We already knew from the clip that Janet Cage was gonna be good because again, she can combo anywhere on screen. 
It's just, you're gonna have to learn how to play Janet Cage, but if you can, I dropped that, and that was almost 40%. It was about to be like probably 41, 42. In the corner, you can get two like that, but you're not getting a jump attack, so you might want to stick to one if you want all the damage. But this is pretty simple, right? Meterless and 37%. So Jenny Cage, great option. We already knew that though. It's just, it's one of the harder cameos to learn. So I think at the lower ranks, it's not gonna help. And then lastly, any cameos with setups. So you're gonna do stuff like that with the long knockdown. Now, it's actually not guaranteed in the corner like that. Reptile's armor will take the hit of this ice right here, but if you just hold block, it covers a lot of the wake-up options because then you block the armor, get your full combo punish. If the opponent tries to delay the wake-up, you're getting the full combos. So that is really, really nice. I mean, it's obviously gonna be a little bit scaled because it's frozen. Like, look at that. That does almost no damage. And it'll cover things like that. And there's plenty of setup characters like that. Like Sector. Right there. We break the armor because of the missile. And I called that in after realizing I landed the hit of 434. So, again, setup characters are going to have a field day. It's just going to take more work, and then you're not getting full combos everywhere like some of the other cast members I've shown you. Because you can't pick up much. That's not going to work. Things like Sub Zero Freeze isn't going to work. Things like Sonya's air shot isn't gonna work even though you can get setups with the one that's grounded. It's just nothing really combos off of this part. You really need to get the setups going if you wanna make it work for yourself. And yeah, I'm gonna have a full video with this when I do Road to Rank 1 in two days from now because tomorrow will be an Ermac video, but I just wanted to give you a good idea of what I thought of the buffs. I'm indifferent at the moment. I think I really need to get into ranked and see how they perform at the highest level of play. I'll see you guys out there playing Scorpion. I'm just glad he got a buff of some sort and I'll catch you guys next time.